Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, White Sparrow Living, Luke 12, 6. Today we're going to be doing a haul from the 99 cents store and some DIYs, but I wanted to show you some of the fun stuff I got. We have a couple of pillows. These were only $2.99. Now the store's called 99 cent only, and they don't just have 99 cent items. They have higher ticket items such as these, but these are really good pillows i mean you can't even get the forms for 2.99 anywhere but they're covered in like a pretty thick linen the design is really cute buffalo check ornaments and then the little red truck and i'm gonna do something with these but i wanted a bunch of red truck things i'm just really crushing on the red truck this year so i got this big huge bag and i'm telling you it carries a lot I actually measured it for you guys and it's 28 inches by 8 inches so everything you see except for the pillows fit into this bag at the 99 cents store so since Jesus is the reason anytime I see a little nativity set I always scoop it up and this was only a dollar 99 these buffalo check stockings are so cute and they're really good quality so I ended up getting four for my whole family and they were a dollar 99 and the back was even kind of thick linen type of fabric so you can't even see through them which was really surprising since they were only a dollar 99 i got this little tin truck i actually thought i stole another lid but it was riveted on there so it was part of it so it would look like two lids on on one box but the one side does come off so then I got this wire garland and it's usually more at Hobby Lobby but it was only 99 cents here so that was good. And then I got this wreath. It's kind of a plasticky material but I thought it looked really pretty. The bow's not that cute but we'll do something different with that but I like the white snowy stuff. And then another wreath I got 99 cents. This was way more generous than the ones that you get at Dollar Tree and it actually is closer to the advertised size. And then this little stick or yard stake or whatever you want to call it um, with the truck on it. I love this. And so we'll probably take it off and use it maybe on a wreath or something. But only 99 cents. I thought that was a really good deal. And then you saw me use these in a different video for the stacking gifts. The Happy Birthday Jesus uh, topiary. And these were a dollar each and just you know small medium and large boxes and those are pretty heavy duty too so i am so in love with this cake plate you guys and it's really good metal it's not real flimsy or anything and it was only 2.99 they had them in white red and green i believe but i was in love with this red one and it's got like the eyelet looking holes on the side there and i just love it i got this little tree and I really liked it when I saw it, but it was, and it was only $3.49, so I thought that was a really good deal. But when I got him home, he was just not cooperating. He was out of control, and the shape was all off, and there was all kinds of hot glue stuck to it, so I'm regretting buying that. Then I got this tin with the red truck on top for 99 cents, and instead of the buffalo check, like usual, it came with kind of a plaid pattern on the side. I'm always looking for trays and this one was really cute. It was only $3.49 but it has the wood handles and says Merry Christmas and so I thought it was a good buy. This is the bag that I used for the dashing through the snow video and I'll link that in the description box below but I just thought this was a really cute design and I knew I wanted to do something with it and so I cut that out and used it in that DIY. I found these bells and I can use these at all times for all projects and I like the ones that are more rustic looking too and so those were only 99 cents each package and then I found this let it snow Frosty's hat and his that was only 99 cents as well and it had the buffalo check uh, stripe on there so I was, thought that was cute and then this guy he has the corrugated metal on the back there but also a like a frame stand so he stands up and that's perfect for trays or any kind of you know filling in that you might want to do but it was cute too and it was only a dollar 49 so that was good and he had a little partner 
and this guy was only 99 cents and apparently there's only one tree for sale at this Christmas farm. So then I found a bunch of ornaments that I really loved and this was the fresh cut greens and it was 99 cents as was this cute gnome with the buffalo check hat and his friend with the black and white buffalo check hat. And we're gonna be using both of these in the DIY after this haul. I found these antler ornaments and I liked them at first, but they look more like, I don't know, crow's feet or something scary. So I kind of don't like them anymore. Found this corrugated metal star, kind of 3D, and he's really heavy and solid and I like that. And then these plastic ornaments are super cute as well and they were a little scuffed up but they were the only ones they had so I had to have them. haven't done anything with them yet but I'm sure we will find something to do. But you can see they're a little rough but that's okay. And then for $2.49 I found these bead garland pieces and I've used those I think about like three or four times already. So those were a good buy. This little Santa, I like him and everything, but he was $2.49 and I didn't realize that till I got to the checkout. These poinsettias, they were pretty rough looking and I almost passed them by, but when you fluff them up, they're really super cute. This bucket of greens was $2.49, which I may not have gotten that, but I needed some greens, so I got it anyway. This is a plastic cake plate or it's super small, but um, I always need lifters. And so I thought this was a good buy for 99 cents. And then this door hanger with the buffalo check and jingle bells, I like that. That was 99 cents. And this tree is, I thought, pretty adorable and it has the buffalo check on it. And so I'm gonna use that in a tray a little later. And this was score number one. I love this thing. It is super heavy and it was $4.99 so that was my high ticket item of the day but I did a video with the with using this and it was the dashing through the snow and that's the one I'll put in the description box and then if you remember the TV that I did the vintage TV I had said I found a bucket later that I could have used so I wouldn't have had to wrap and paint the TV this is the one I was talking about, and it would have been a lot easier if I would have found that before I did that DIY. And then on my way home, I was stopped at Rite Aid to get something else, and I found this sweet truck, and it was only $10, and it's got the wreath on the front, the tree in the back, and it lights up, and in the cab, it has a light as well. So I'm in love with this thing. I don't know how I'm gonna use it, but I will. So for our first DIY, I'm gonna start with a jar, and this is just from some artichoke hearts. And I have a bottle brush tree that I think is from Michael's. And I found this ribbon. It's normally $13, and I would not have paid that, and I didn't pay that, but one of our local uh, craft stores is going out of business. So it was 60% off, and it is eight yards, 24 feet, and it has the red truck on it, so I went ahead and spent the $5 for this ribbon. And if you don't have that, you can use this Dollar Tree ribbon because it's got kind of the same feel to it a little nostalgic and old and so this is cute ribbon I think for Dollar Tree and then some greens and berries some fiber fill or batting just a little bit and then my apple barrel acrylic black paint and a sponge brush or sponge foam sponge and then just the scissors a Chanel stem my ruler and glue gun and then we're gonna be using the Cricut on this DIY, so your red vinyl and transfer tape. And if you don't have that, just use a Sharpie, a red, this is actually a paint pen. So the first thing I did was took my Apple Barrel black paint and just covered the top. This is actually gonna be covered, so it's not gonna show, but I just wanted to make sure there was no Karamea showing in case through the bow. So I first measured to see how big I needed my decal to be. And I just used my ruler. It would have been good to use a little uh, measuring tape instead. But I'm doing this say, uh, scripture. It's a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, Isaiah 11.1. 1. And I did, I'll, I'll put the fonts in the description box below because I can't even pronounce them. And I got my 
a silhouette set to cut and then on the settings it's the mat or the vinyl mat and so once I did that I sent it over and cut it out I ended up not being able to use the small font for the from the stump of so I had to redo that and kind of piece it together but I'll um, I'll show you that later so here it is cutting it out and after I did this part then I went through the same steps that I know you guys have seen before so I'm really kind of rushing through this so as to not make this video way too long but here we are pulling off the top layer of the vinyl and then I'm going to weed out the letters and put the transfer tape that I got from Dollar Tree on top of it and then transfer it onto the jar. If you guys are interested in purchasing this decal, I'm probably gonna list it in my Etsy shop once I get that up and running. And if you're curious, this is a really powerful scripture of prophecy that's found in the Old Testament. It's Isaiah 11.1, 1, and the shoot is Jesus, and the stump of Jesse would be his line of descendants. And this was written, again, 1,500 years ago, so it's just prophesying the coming of Jesus who was a descendant of David, King David, and Jesse was King David's father. I think that's so cool. Anyway, okay, so now we're gonna add our batting or fiber fill, and I just cut a slit through it and wrapped it around the bottom of the tree, and then I stuck it in there, and I didn't even need to glue it down. You totally could, but it stayed perfectly from the weight of the batting, so I, just let it stay there and it was perfectly straight I was a little surprised but here it is with the words and the tree inside and so now we're gonna make a bow for the top of the lid and because this isn't double-sided ribbon we have to do the twisting method so every time you come around you're gonna twist it so that the top of the ribbon is showing and then when you get to the end you're gonna cut it off and then Oh, and you also have to do one more loop on one side, the side that you started with, because the top loop is going to be like the middle of it. So if you want three loops on each side, one side will have three loops, and then the first side that you start on will actually have four. So after you get that done, you're going to flip that top piece over so that the little flap is underneath, and then you're going to put the Chanel stem through the that top loop and then twist it on the back very tightly and then pull the loops apart so that it gets all fluffed up and pretty and then you're gonna dovetail the tails by folding it in half and then cutting it at an angle from the wire toward the bow and then cut off the Chanel stem and then I just hot glued it to the top of the lid and hold it down and push it down in the loop so that you don't burn yourself. I have a lot of comments saying they hope I am not burning myself, but I do have some of those rubber tips that you guys have recommended on the way, but they're coming from China, so they won't be here until January. So anyway, I found these red berries and I'm gonna place those kind of tilted to the side and coming out at a diagonal direction and so that part is done so now i'm going to use this rolling pin that i found at walmart it was about four dollars and 88 cents some waverly white chalk paint also from walmart this box that was actually from a gift last year but it was from dollar tree and some greenery from the green garland and then some more of that little red truck ribbon the regular supp supplies the wire cutters chanel stem scissors and hot glue and I'm going to paint the rolling part of the rolling pin and I actually added some water to this paint because I wanted some of that wood to kind of show through just a little bit so it's more of a whitewash but not quite as light as a whitewash 
And then for the edges, I just took the side of the sponge brush and, and went around carefully so that it just had a, a final, you know, finished edge. But the, the, I'm gonna put some stuff over that so you won't even see it. So now I'm taking off the top portion of that box and it's a little, um, it's got glitter on top and the little foam stickies on the back to make it pop up. So I just took those off with my Cricut spatula. And then I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm gonna rub that all over because somebody had recommended that when you wanna keep glitter in check, you just put Mod Podge over it and it will stay in place and won't get all over the place. So now I'm taking two pieces of that ribbon. It's about, I don't know, nine, 10 inches long. And I found some of these uh, garland, or the, it's the garland twist ties from Dollar Tree. I didn't see them this year, but I finally got my Christmas stuff down and I found them in a box. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. So I cut a piece of that off and then just tied it inside of the ribbon that I'm just tying a knot on. And then I'm going to do the dovetailing on the ends of each of these. And then another viewer recommendation was to keep the ribbons from fraying. You just use a lighter and singe the edge so I did that on all four of the dovetails and you don't want to do it too long because you can see there that it kind of caught on fire so be careful with that so now I ran out of hot glue so another trick is to put a little dab of glue at the end of your glue stick and then put it in and it will stay in especially the long ones have a tendency to fall out so now I'm gonna hot glue the little truck to the rolling pin and if you push down when you're gluing it won't be a bead it'll be flat this particular glue gun is really good about that so it lays really flat and it's not popped up so now I'm going to take some red berries and put those in the middle of the tied ribbon and I just cut them off with scissors because the stems are plastic. Those are the ones from Dollar Tree. And then I just added some white chalk paint to the greenery to make it look snowy and pretty and softer. And here it is all done and it still rolls. And then our next project is using this wood. It's actually press board. It's that cheap stuff, but I've had this for a little while, so it's all kind of dirty and stuff, but we're going to paint that and then the gnome ornament, some more Waverly White chalk paint. And I actually learned from Alicia English's channel. If you haven't seen her, you really need to check her out because she's an awesome painter. Um, she paints and refinishes things. And so she taught me to just put the paint onto whatever surface if you can, and that saves a lot of paint. So now I'm just gonna beef up the little gnome by adding some of that greenery and putting it on his hat. And then I'm gonna take some of the uh, white chalk paint and put that on there to make it snowy as well. I, I pretty much do that on every, every piece of greenery so that it just makes it look a little softer. And then I added some of the glitter berries to match with the glittery truck. So. He needed a little truck because he didn't have anything that had to do with coordinating with the red truck. So I cut out a little piece and stuck it on his hat and embellished him a little bit. I also added a, a small little pine cone at the bottom there that you can see. So now our next one is a, or while the paint's drying actually, I have this foam or styrofoam tree a Dollar Tree candle holder. It's really wobbly, so I'm gonna actually use it the other way. And then some of this black and red buffalo check ribbon that will go with the red truck ribbon. And then some of these Dollar Tree push pins. Um, those come in handy quite often. So I'm first gonna start by dabbing a little bit of hot glue under the ribbon just to get it started. And I kind of wanted this to look like an apron because we're making a tray for the kitchen, a Christmas tray for the kitchen, if you didn't figure that out already. So I went ahead and put some, instead of using hot glue all the way around, I'm just gonna use some straight pins, also from Dollar Tree, and stick those into each of those pleats. So you just go a couple of squares over and then pull it over or fold it over, make a pleat, and then stick a pin in it. And then after you do the buffalo check row, then you're gonna go with the other ribbon, the red truck ribbon, 
and then just alternate it all the way up to the very top. And then for the top, I'm gonna to use some of this Dollar Tree glitter ribbon. It's black and that's gonna go at the very top of the tree. So I used the black uh, push pins at the very top and then made a kind of a row of them all the way around. But I liked the way it looked so much that I decided to go ahead and put them down towards the bottom or all the way around at the bottom of each of the buffalo check rows. Not the bottom, bottom one, because I want to hang over the candle holder that we're gonna attach it to. So I pulled up the little skirt. I, I don't know, I, it's kind of an apron skirt thing, whatever you wanna call it. But after I flipped it up a little bit, I hot glued it to that candle holder and then let that bottom flap hang over the bottom. And so there it is, and I think it's really cute. So now that the paint's dry on that one plaque, I'm going to hot glue the gnome into it, and that's like a little shadow box, a gnome shadow box. And so he's all set to go too. So then the final part is using that beaded garland, we're going to make some tassels for the ends. And you have to kind of be careful with this because they'll go all over the place and so the part that I'm not using, I tied a knot in the string to keep it for next time. So I just took a dot of hot glue and put it inside that bead and then stuck a tinsel stem inside of it so that I would have something to tie the tassel to. So to make the tassel, I just used some white yarn and wrapped it around 20 times and then tied a knot with another piece and then took another piece and then wrapped it around four or five times just to give it that tassel look and then tied it in a knot and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut apart all those loops at the bottom and then I'm going to attach it to the tinsel stem for this side anyway because the other side doesn't have a tinsel stem in it so I just fed the piece of yarn through the bead for the other side. So now we're going to assemble the tray and I got this at Walmart for I think seven dollars and some change. So I started with the tall tree even though you can't see the top and in front of it kind of at an angle I put the jar with the tree inside of it and then using some lamb's ear that you get from dollar uh, from uh, Walmart for two dollars, um, I just stuck that in between the two pieces there. And then I'm using that 99 cent store red cake plate and put that on the other side. And on top of that, I'm going to put the gnome shadow box over to the left, and then some more lamb's ear just to break everything up. And then I'm going to take my beaded garland and wrap it around my gnome and let that hang off so that you can see the tassels. And then I got these house cookie cutters from my bestie boo and I think she got them at Hobby Lobby. But I'm just going to take those and feed the lambs ear through them and place them kind of in a diagonal position so that you can see all three of them and then once you get it in the right position and all squared away and secure so that it's not going to fall off or anything I took the rolling pin and put that front and center and then I pulled my tassels over so that you could see them and then kind of as an afterthought, I decided to put some lights inside of the jar. And these are those wiry, crazy lights that kind of just are supposed to go all over the place. And so I put those inside the jar and put the lid back on and it's all done. And I think it turned out really cute. I love the reds and the little red truck is just one of my favorites. This is going to go to my daughter's house because she's decorating in the red and black buffalo print um, for Christmas. So she doesn't even know it yet and she hasn't even seen it. So she'll be surprised. But I love the way it turned out. And I'm going to show a piece uh, or a 
clip from when it's dark so you can see the actual light. So I love making trays and I thought I'd show you guys a few options. I got this at Ross uh, for $8.99 and inside of it I'm using this woodland tree and I just put a buffalo check bow on top of him. This was actually from my niece's baby shower and it was woodland themed so I got one of the centerpieces. And then this cake plate I got from Target Dollar Spot, it was $5, that was last year. And then here's our expensive little Santa, the 249 Santa in the Buffalo Check outfit. And then our Farm Fresh Christmas Trees sign. And I'm gonna wrap that with some beads as well with the yarn, white yarn tassels. And then I'm going to put a little ornament over to the right, well, our right, Santa's left in the middle of those beads. And that's an ornament from Dollar Tree. You've seen me use that before as well. And then I'm going to add a small sprig of lamb's ear and this tray is done. And it's just a simple and super easy way to put a tray together and you can use this on your table or on a buffet, anywhere you want. This is a two tier tray and this is the Hearth and Hand from Magnolia. And I got that at the Goodwill for $7 and I didn't have to pay full price at Target where you usually get it. And I used the black and white gnome, uh, Buffalo Check gnome. And then the three books I made in a previous video, I'll link that in the description box below, as well as these cups that I made from my Cameo, my Silhouette Cameo 3. And they just say, one says Mary and one says Bright. And then I put a couple of straws in them just to make that cute. And then I'm going to add a buffalo check bow to the top, kind of off to the side. And I'm just using some 26 gauge wire, I believe it is, and just attach it that way so that there's no hot glue and everything can be removed because I use this tray all year, all year long. So here it is, and that one's super simple, but I think extremely cute as well. And then now we're using that 99 cent store Merry Christmas tray, and I attached some Buffalo Check mesh that I got from Walmart. And then on top of that, I added some lamb's ear to that bucket of greens that we got from the 99 cent store as well. And then I added the little sandwich board in front of that and then I was gonna put the tree on the left but it was too close to the buffalo check mesh bow so that didn't look right so I switched it over to the other side and then I'm gonna add the wood beads around the base of the bucket and just let that hang but it wasn't showing very well because of the lip of the tray and so then I'm going to take a Noel ornament and stick that inside the greenery. And then using some of the wired garland, the greenery, I'm going to put it in a shape of a V, you know, just fold it over and then put a pine cone on top of it, kind of at the base of that little sandwich board. And then I noticed that it wasn't quite showing as well as I wanted it to. The beads weren't showing. So I needed to lift everything up 
So I used that 99 cent store lifter that I showed you in the haul. And it's perfect because it's clear so it doesn't add any additional color that doesn't need to be there and it just made the beads you know be able to hang over uh, so that you could see them so here it is all done and I think it turned out well and it's a sweet little piece that you can put anywhere as well so now this little two-tier basket I got that at Ross's for five dollars I was really excited about that the only problem is is it's kind of wobbly at the bottom there's like little bars and so it kind of prevents you from putting anything in there that's flat so it it will teeter-totter so to take care of that I added some snow at the bottom and I have these two little plates that I use in a lot of my trays either as lifters or as backdrops and I just placed a pine cone behind it to hold those up and then I added those cups the mugs the Marion bright mugs and got those to sit upright and level and then I'm gonna add a pine cone and those cookie cutter houses at the bottom and as you can see this is near a window and it was for some reason very bright outside today so sorry for the shine but it was a beautiful day here in sunny California even though it's been very cold but here it is all done and again another simple one that you can just add things from around the house and for next to nothing you have a cute little display that you can put anywhere and it just goes to add to your Christmas decor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and that's White Sparrow Living. Give us a thumbs up and hit that bell so you know every time we put out a new video. And also comment and let me know what your favorite scripture is if you have one. I would love to hear from you guys. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day and remember to always be the light. Bye.